session. Nine, nine, nine of your Aperture Science Enrichment Center automated testing confinement. You should be feeling rested and refreshed after your forced hibernation period. As you rested, our patented amnesia-inducing toxins have slowly worn away at your brain's recently connected neurons, making any fears or anxieties you might have from the horror and or agony of what you have previously experienced melt away into a viscous fluid which now resides in your upper spinal cord. Pad on the interruption. You probably don't remember much due to the brain chemicals, but a certain test subject managed to trigger a self-destruct sequence and destroy a large section of the facility. There's no need to worry. Testing will resume. Let's get back to the tedious informational nonsense. The remaining bodily fluids should be captured and immediately sent for analysis. Please pick up the handheld portal device to proceed. Understanding of how portals can move you through space. Please continue to the next area. To your left, you will see a subcritical mass energy pellet. Please use your handheld portal device to direct the energy pellet into the high concentration electron dispersal unit. Excellent. The energy produced by the spelt extractor will be sent to a worthy cause, namely the elevator to the next chamber. Remember, you have approximately 43 hours to complete these tests before the symptoms of dehydration start to kick in. Good luck. storage cube into the 1500 megawatt hydromagnetic cube stability unit. This will allow you to change the path of the energy belt. Note that any energy pellet will be destroyed if it comes in contact with the wrong side of a hydromagnetic cube stability unit. to understand the nature of the weighted storage cubes and how they can deflect the energy pellets. Destroying the weighted storage cubes is often required for these tests, and you will not lose points based on how many millions of dollars worth of weighted storage cube technology you destroy. Please do not approach the 1600 megawatt positron energy orb. The positron radiation can cause brain hemorrhages, retinal boiling, internal microwave syndrome, minor lung explosions, and eventually death. If you experience any of the symptoms mentioned previously, then good news, you probably won't need to worry about dehydration.
Do you remember these? Due to all those brains and goals we pumped them. Um, Bray, you will probably have a difficult time recollecting what makes the green energy pellet special. The green energy pellets are different in that they have a half-life of 3.25428 million years. In other words, their lifetime is longer than yours by 3.25427 million years, or until you remove pressure from the pump. This chamber will test what you have learned so far. Remember, green energy pellets will last indefinitely without outside intervention. Congratulations. You have proven that you can solve puzzles at a third grade level. Please proceed to the exit. He's telling the truth, you know. This test was designed for children. Most test subjects peak at around 14 years of age, but he was still able to do it after several more years of brain deterioration and joint decay. This isn't a completely normal test run. The point of these tests is to restore power to the powerless sections of the facility. You should keep in mind, however, that you are simply helping me undo your massive failure. This test chamber, if completed, will restore power to the apatrocyte pediatric wing. Those poor children, well, Adults by now, and probably not still alive, are patiently awaiting their automated rubella inoculations. Congratulations on completing this test. The single energy pellet will power the aperture science pediatric wing for five days. The sick children would thank you if they could speak. Please direct the energy pellet through the aperture science radiator flux rectangle.
you experience a mild tingling sensation while passing through the radiated flux rectangle, it's probably just your imagination. Or possibly the radiation. Enjoy the gratification while it lasts. It won't last long. This test chamber is meant to measure your mind's capacity for object persistence. In other words, this chamber will test your ability to understand that energy pellets exist even when you cannot see them. to understand that objects continue to exist even when they leave your field of vision. Great job. This encouragement core is really starting to get on my nerves. These testing elements could be consuming more energy than you are supplying. Maybe I should actually do the math. Mathematical processing unit activated. Let's see. 15 million jars divided by... Um... Character. To make this stream a bit of you will need to get the energy pellet into the dispersal unit within 9.37 milliseconds. Good luck. Mathematical processing unit deactivated. This test chamber took 9.9.9.9 milliseconds to complete. Fantastic job. Yes, really fantastic work. I'm suitably impressed. Sarcasm processing unit deactivated. Please take note of the upgraded device on the intentionally out of reach platform. You will need to obtain the upgraded device in order to proceed to the exit elevator. Yes, yes, we know. She needs to control two portals for the later chambers.
to you earlier. You are not helping me restore power to the facility. Of course we have to ship power for that. No, you are supplying energy to something much more important. It will be a fun surprise. The handheld port device has been modified to create both portals. Keep this in mind as you continue to the next phase of testing. through a portal, its lifespan is increased to a minimum of six seconds. It's true. It took you long enough to get here. And I'm used the I'm not the main two portals, excuse. But nonsense. to problem solving seem to be doing the job just fine. Fun fact, you will not be able to complete this test chamber without the use of your parietal loop. Luckily, we've left it intact for just such an occasion. like to take this opportunity to thank you for choosing Aperture Science. We know you have a choice of automated testing administrators, and we are glad you chose us. You have helped make Aperture Science the only private company in the world with a 100% employee retention rate. Thank you. File not found in session. Congratulatory speech file number 037 does not exist. 
Please instruct the test subject to congratulate itself, and then proceed to the chamber exit. You've got to be kidding me. During the previous test, our remote brain scanners detected thought patterns consistent with indecent animalistic desires. Please refrain from attempting intercourse with any of the testing elements, no matter how appealing they may be, as it will distract from the testing procedure. the amount of restraint and self-control you have shown in this test chamber. While many of the testing elements have the ability to copulate with humans, only a select few will actually produce soft spray. That activity is reserved for a different set of test chambers. We won't get to those today. For science, we care about the opinions of our employees. That's why we require every employee to donate part for all of their brain the effort for science opinion extraction center. Voluntarily donated to the effort to science of an extraction set upon the conclusion of testing. As you exit this chamber, please concentrate on your opinions for easy extraction. Yeah, your opinions are worth a case of humans in the brain extraction at the base tables. Sarcasm.
You are doing very, very well for a test subject who has been given a rating of 17 stupidity units. Good job. secret passage. You must be very, very proud of yourself. Good luck getting back in there. consuming desserts which you have found on the floor. Oh great. She found some cake. Once you're done stuffing your fat face full of stale floor cake, let's see if you can finish the test. Insert hometown name. She really knew how to. Insert active verb. Then one day, she was taken away and placed in a bag full of. Insert plural noun rhyming with hometown name. Seizures or epilepsy, please refrain from looking at or standing near the hydromagnetic cube stability units. If you do not have a history of seizures or epilepsy, then you are in for a treat.
stand in the elevator with your arms at your sides and stare at the aperture science logo. Do not fire the handheld device inside the elevator. Do not mock, tips, or attempt to locate the hidden camera inside the elevator. Do not undress inside the elevator. Do not attempt to pry open the elevator door, no matter how hot or radioactive it gets in there.